With the mixed results of Resident Evil 3, there's already talks of a Resident Evil 4 remake, along with also rumors that Resident Evil 8 will be released sometime in 2021. So I don't know how you feel about this, Kuma, but I know we said in the past we wouldn't mind remakes in the vein of like Resident Evil 2's remake. But just given the response of 3 and how, like, rushed it was, do you still feel that way? Well, I mean, what can it do with 4? I feel like 4, like, play gameplay-wise, is still pretty modern. It's, it's still shoulder. decent enough. It's not great, but it's still playable. Yeah, exactly. It's still playable. All they could do is really give it a facelift. And a remaster, but this is a remake, right? It's a remake. Right? It's a remake. So what kind of reimagine can they do to four? What are they gonna do for Leon? I swear to god, if they take Leon's um like action moves out, I'd be really pissed. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if they do it the similar combat, there's no melee takedowns or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just all you can only use a knife and shoot. So, so I hope weird. they um I hope they don't really take away from the game, but add on to it. Maybe give the character more depth. Maybe expand some of the area. Make the game more scary, even scarier. Make it more darker. You know what I'm saying? Maybe add more ma atmosphere. Mm hmm Because I, uh, I'm comparing four to uh to some of um uh, you know some parts of um Resident Evil Six or Resident Evil Two remake. I feel like uh, it's not as scary and during some parts because you see all that daylight, you know, right. in the beginning of the game. Um, but like I could just like feel excited seeing like the 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 graphical like, upgrade. That's what's gonna excite me a lot. I don't view this re like Resident Evil Four's remake. I don't view it as crucial or essential as like two because two was. Really dated. Like, this was back in, mm -hmm. what, PS1? PS1 era? Yeah, PS1 era. Mm -hmm. And Resident Evil 4 was GameCube and PS2, which was, yeah. they were already doing, you know, successful 3D graphics and everything, and, mm -hmm. like, third-person shooters. So, I would have, yeah, I would have thought they would have, you know, not skipped over Code Veronica, because that's still the same kind of graphics and st like gameplay style as Resident Evil 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, like I was going to bring that up. Like what happened to Kovranka? Is it because they tr just want to do like a uh the mainstream uh, number or not yeah, mainstream the but the number the titles number. game? Uh-huh. That could be it. But it's a waste though. I hopefully they will go back to it, you know. Like that's what I'm hoping for. If well, if four does well, and if eight does well, they will have extra funding, extra money to like put into another Resident Evil remake. And Cold Veronica will be the next best thing because it's still tanky controls. Graphically, is not that good looking because Resident Evil Four looks way better than Cold Veronica on the yeah. PS2. Um, and yeah, we I would have even see thought they would maybe remake in this style for Resident Evil One and Zero. Because those are uh, like the fixed camera angles, and the combat would be completely different. Because well, you would see, a, you would see a different perspective because you weren't seeing it from top down. Okay, like you're right. Like if they do Resident One and Resident Evil, uh, from not using a tank but use the over the shoulder shooting. Yes, I could see that. That work work really well. But graphically, I think it still look pretty good for its uh for yeah the standards. remaster whatever you want to call it is it holds up honestly like mm -hmm. i played the resident evil zero and one about a year ago on pc it's pretty good actually mm -hmm. but yeah code veronica was the the one after i would have thought it's, yeah that proved me wrong yeah that's why i put my like that's why i like was betting on as well and when they you know have rumors about resident evil 4 remake it kind of like threw me off i was like what happened here who dropped the who dropped the ball <laughs> yeah they just kind of skipped over <laughs> and like uh what worries me is that resident evil 4 was such a good game already how can they measure up it's like they're doing the same thing with like final fantasy 7 
how can they measure up to this excellent classic game? You know, it's gonna be hard to, to be like compared to and like scrutinized in detail. Like, uh huh. They so, had like to do everyone's an going to be job. like examining this with a like a microscope, just seeing mm -hmm. like if the changes to this were for better or they just made it worse. You know that kind of thing. Uh huh. And uh, what were you seeing, Ophini Ophinius? You said that this project, Resident Evil Remake Four, uh, is be being done by a third party. Yeah, by it's Ca supposedly Capcom? being done by this support studio called M2, and that's M2. being led by a former Platinum Games head, oh, Atsuya Platinum. Minami. Okay. And okay. this studio was apparently formed in 2018, so this was oh. their sole focus. Maybe they've been actually had this intention of doing it since 2018. Interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, have they released any projects or any games? Or no. this is just the first game they're working on? No, this would be the first thing they would be working okay. on. Okay, first game. All right. And this would be a guy from Platinum. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder I wonder uh, I wonder what kind of game uh game Maybe they go mechanics. the complete opposite direction of two and three and then make it more <laughs> melee focused and Leon's just doing combos. That would make cry. Yeah, Devil May Cry has scored Bayonetta. Huh. Uh, that'd be interesting. Oh, more combos. That'd be different. Let's see. I don't I don't know if anybody would like that. <laughs> I don't know if I would like that. Well but that'd be different. If you, you keep in mind, historically, Resident Evil 4, uh the original gameplay mechanics was Devil May Cry. They scrapped it, but they kept those mechanics and put out a new game. So we don't know. It, it, Maybe it'll become something else. Um, I will still buy it. I don't think I will buy it day one. You know? Yeah. And uh, I, I, I swear to God, they better focus mainly on single-player experience. None of this bullshit uh, multiplayer Resistance stuff. From yeah, I want, I want all their attention, all their focus on the single-player experience. Like, more... Um, what do you call that? Those uh, other modes, uh, uh, mercenary modes. They could maybe you know make it multiplayer. Maybe put multi that back in. Uh, mercenary? Yeah, 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 mercenaries multiplayer, was uh, mercenary multiplayer was multiplayer after after five, five and six had it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They introduced so, it in four, which was completely single player. Single player. Uh huh. And then five started having co op. Ah, okay, I see. So you know. Maybe you can just do something like that and make it better. Uh, more areas, more playable characters, you know. Uh, one and also thing about the rumor is they're supposedly targeting this release to be in 2022. Okay, so this time, you know, this time. Because they already have some of the models, textures, you know, they just got to recycle the engine. And this yeah, is gonna focus be, more be using the... the same engine as the remake, two remake okay. and three. So yeah, they got two years. I think they could do it. You know, I I don't mind delays. I, I could accept delays. Delays will means more time to focus on making the game better. Yeah, I just want uh, them to polish it up and show the the attention and the details that they put into twos. Because mm -hmm. twos was completely just just blew me away at least personally it was a fantastic remake and it changed my idea about remakes like if you could do a remake like that right i'm like all right uh -huh. i don't mind companies like you know square enix or anyone that has older games that were beloved or anything they just make it more modern okay yeah, totally agree. Uh, I hope they keep all these like silly quirkiness, like those uh, uh, you know, like those like different suit, the Tommy gun, the heavy armor. I hope they keep all that stuff, and it better not be paid DLCs. I swear to God, I'd be so pissed. <laughs> it's going anything like two and three. They might have it. Like I don't, I don't know because two and th two, three, and four. They're very different. Four is much longer than two and three, because mm -hmm. two and three you could speed run pretty easily, and I've done it. I'm not a speed runner, 
four is harder to do because you have like five acts and you have to traverse these bigger environments because you're not just in like a few buildings you're like in a whole village and then you go to different locations if you remember that's true and you got a x core of ashley is that her name <laughs> how are they going to change that or are they just gonna keep it similar to that well, there's some people on different uh, media platforms stated that uh, they want maybe maybe they want the AI to be smarter. You know, I would like, probably want that. Able to like, many run times away, she got in my way and then she just dies. Yeah, maybe they will upgrade her AI because this is reimagining. This is not remaster. Remaster, they will keep everything basically. Yeah, it would be but the same AI, same things like that. Yeah. So this is reimagining a, a, a remake, so I'm sure they're going to do something more different. As long as and you I'm could just... eventually unlock an invulnerable med medieval suit that makes yeah, her I like invulnerable. That. I like that. And uh, if it's possible for her to get picked up, I'd be okay <laughs> with that. I just can't wait to play as Ada again. Because, like, um, you know, for the folks that didn't play 2, you know, remake, I want to play Ada again in 4. And uh, and like a whole, you know, the whole game at least. So I'm excited to play as her. Oh, a whole game they'll do that, but maybe have like a short separate campaign, like they did in the original four. Which I do appreciate that. Yeah, I like that. I played through it. It was a fun mode. Do mm -hmm. you think that Capcom is? Maybe it's starting to feel like they're just pumping out these remakes. Well, I I don't mind if they like step away from Resident Evil. Like, like uh, Dino Crisis, another beloved series that's also in the horror survival horror genre. They old games, PS2 as well. Oh no no, sorry, PS1 days as well. Another excellent choice to to you know to like uh, remaster. No no sorry, to remake. And I, I know a lot of fans out there would love to see this come to light. Uh, they have a lot of games they could do. Mega Man, they could do Mega Man 2, right? Maybe not the 2D one, but maybe something else. I don't know. They have so many games they They've could like, play around. They've got a wide with. variety of Castlevania and games they could do. No? Castlevania one? Oh, wait, wait, no, no. That's Castlevania Konami. Is... Oops. <laughs> oh, whatever else they have, they 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 got some other titles out there. I'm sure people will love to see come to light. I yeah, I just I think this is good. They're just it seems like they're spending a little more time in between this time mm -hmm. instead of just a year after. It's just like oh hey, we got the Resident Evil Three remake. Mm -hmm. Like oh now it's two years from now, possibly. So. At least first up is supposedly uh, Resident Evil 8. So it continues the, you know, the mm. number. It moves it forward. Mm. So I don't mind if another studio handles it as long as they handle it with care and attention and they mm. take their time mm. with it. And mm. honestly, there's no rush because, like mm. we said, 4 is still playable. So this is mm. not a, like an essential remake, in my opinion. It's a nice one. Like, I'll, I'm curious to see how they like change things, but it's not my first pick for a remake. Well, hopefully, this will inspire other studios, other um, publishers to like take on their own projects of remakes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that as long. As, yeah, just make sure it's polished. And then I don't mind revisiting and seeing the different takes on how developers make these new games because it doesn't need to be the same. So we'll see.